Since 2018, an unprecedented invasion of locusts has hit several countries in East Africa. The crisis has hit Kenya, Sudan, Ethiopia, and Somalia hard, endangering the food security of populations. FAO's Desert Locust Information Services forecasted the possible spread of desert locust in the Western region. And these forecasts alert CLC Pro, which is the Commission for Control of Desert Locust in the Western Region. In the Western Region, the CLC Pro, which groups 10 countries from North and West Africa, has thus put into place an action plan to deal with a threat likely to come from the Horn of Africa. This is the first time that an action plan has been put in place to anticipate a locust invasion, where all the measures were taken on time at regional, national and international level. This action plan was implemented jointly by CLC Pro and by Reawa, FAO's sub-regional office for resilience in West Africa and the Sahel. The action plan consisted of two very distinct components. Strengthening of surveillance and control resources and strengthening of human capacities. Locusts from invasion areas must be located and eliminated as quickly as possible to prevent them from colonizing the western region. A helicopter was therefore chartered to quickly monitor the thousands of kilometers of sensitive borders between Chad and Sudan, a country in the midst of a locust crisis. In addition, always with the aim of increasing the surveillance and possible action capacities of the countries, new equipment has been acquired, such as vehicles, communication instruments, and camping and treatment equipment. In addition, as part of regional solidarity, pesticides were sent from Morocco to Chad and Niger under the coordination of the CLC Pro, as well as the purchase of biopesticides. Biopesticides are intended to treat environmentally sensitive areas. Finally, drones have been made available to ground teams to be able to survey areas that are difficult to access and thus allow more exhaustive surveys. Any undetected locust infestations are a risk for the start of an invasion, hence the importance of the use of new technologies and in particular of drones. The consolidation of surveillance and control resources was coupled with practical training aimed at strengthening human capacities. Thus, not only were the control agents in the field trained in the use of new technologies such as drones, but they also benefited from various training courses, preparing them to better respond to a possible locust crisis. Fortunately, the Western region did not suffer from significant infiltration of locusts. <laughs> but as the saying goes, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. The cost of prevention is considerably less expensive than the response to a locust crisis. And in this way, we also protect humans because we protect populations who are often already very vulnerable to losing their means of subsistence.